Good morning. Back in 1939, Robert May was in a very dark place in his life. Everything had started out so well. He was born into a very affluent Jewish family. He got a great education at Dartmouth, graduating Phi Beta Kappa. That was in 1926. He had such high hopes. In fact, one of his great dreams was to write the great American novel. But then the Great Depression came. His family lost their wealth. He found it almost impossible to get a job. He finally got a job working at Montgomery Wards in the advertising department as a copy editor. Writing copy on how to buy a, a great shirt for their a catalog rather than writing the great American novel. Not what he had hoped. He got married and he had a daughter, four years old. But in 1937, his wife became very ill with cancer. It was obvious that this was very serious. She was continuing to go downhill as the medical bills were piling up. It was at the very beginning of 1939 that his boss at Montgomery Wards came to him and said, we would like to create a coloring book for our children and we want it to be a story and I think it ought to feature an animal. Would you like to work on that project? So he went to work on the project and he thought about how his daughter loved going to the zoo and how much she did love the reindeers. And thinking of all the different Christmas type of stories that were out there now, he decided to write a story about a reindeer with a red nose who is rejected by all of the other reindeer. They never invited him to play in any games. No, he was really rejected and laughed at until one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa needed him to help deliver all the toys. He wrote the story. His boss said, can't you do any better than that? He wasn't impressed. But another person drew up a few pictures and the boss was finally convinced and a coloring book was produced. It was sad that it was in the middle of 1939 that his wife passed away. In fact, it was the last month before it was all finished and his boss said he'd take him off of the project, but he said, no, no, I need this right now. So he finished the project. It came out at Christmas of 1939. It was a huge hit. Two and a half million copies of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer were given away. They expected to have a bigger run even the next year, but World War II came along and there was a conservation of paper, and Rudolph didn't come back until 1946. In 1946, it was produced again, and this time it ran three and a half million copies. It was so popular that Robert May wasn't getting any revenue off this. He had remarried now, Another lady who worked there at Montgomery Ward, her name was Virginia. She was a very strong person in her faith. She was Catholic. Robert would ultimately convert to Catholicism. They would have five children together. Life was still hard in 1946 and 47, but in 1947, Montgomery Ward decided to give him the rights to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He went to his brother-in-law, Johnny Marks, who was a great composer, and asked him if he would put music to it, and they did. And then they went to Bing Crosby and said, would you sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? He wasn't interested. You may remember the person who became interested was good Oklahoma cowboy singing, Gene Autry. And he came out in 1949 with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It would ultimately go on to sell more than 26 million copies, becoming the second most popular Christmas song behind White Christmas. It did change so much fortune for Robert May and for his family and does to this day. And why have people gravitated to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for so long? Because we've all been there. We know what it is to have people make fun of us, to laugh at us, not to be chosen. You see, Robert May understood that. As a young boy, he wasn't a great athlete, and he was never chosen to play games on anybody's team. It really is his life story of what he experienced and what it was like to experience to be loved. To be loved by God in an incredible way so that you know that you belong. That's what you and I experience as we're celebrating Christmas. What does it mean for us to be chosen by God who sends a baby in Bethlehem to help us know that we are loved? It is a light shining in our darkest. In the darkest times in our lives, we know that we belong to God and we are loved. We're not alone. It's what fills us with hope. It's what gives us peace.
As you light the candle of peace today, remember to start your day with a prayer of gratitude. We have so much for which to be grateful. A vaccine is beginning. The pandemic will come to an end. But most of all, we know what it means to be loved by God and to belong. What a gift. Start your day in gratitude and know the gift of God's peace. Have a great day.